Uh, oh, it's recording. Okay, hold on. Actually. So this is going to be a totally unedited video. I'm starting off with a sketchbook tour. Um, so this is my last year's. I'm still working on um, the one now. This is the one I'm uh, working on. This is my last sketchbook I did. Uh, there's a big gap between this one and my ne my newest one because I didn't have a sketchbook for a long time. But um, I want to do a sketchbook tour just because I, I really like doing uh, watching sketchbook tours. I think they're just really fun to watch. So um, this also gives me inspiration. So if some kid out there needs some inspiration, uh, maybe my sketchbook will give me some. It's really weird uh, how my setup is, but I'm trying to see if it works. So, um, start off with, okay, first of all, there's a bunch of stickers in here. That's also my name, my normal name at school, which I don't like being called, but, you know, you know, life's life, but I had a bunch of stickers on here and I had to, uh, take them off because they started getting a little ruined, so I put them in the front of the book because I was like, oh, that'd be cute. So, in most sketchbooks, I start off with a self-portrait. Um, it's just how I like to do it. Um, I'll show you my newest one just because I'm weird and I'm doing sketchbook tours out of order. Um, if I can, this one really isn't the greatest, but that's me, that's my brother, but I just, I, I at least try to do a self-portrait in the beginning. So, um, this is me, um, at the time, I had really long hair, um, and then these are what my friends say, uh, <laughs> My friend Becca wanted to have this picture. My friend Ashley just said it was adorable. My friend Brenna, can't really see it, right? So right here says I, I love it. And then this was 2016, so this was a while back ago, actually. Two years ago. This is one of my f uh, friend's characters. Um, her name's Abby. Uh, it's her character named Simon. I just drew it because I was like, oh, it'll be really cute. Um... I'm gonna have to move this book a lot. Um, I think it was Ollie, or I think it's called o Oxenfree, but uh, it's come from the term Ollie Ollie Oxenfree. I'm gonna have to push this up a little bit. So, that's one of the characters, and I'm just gonna show the rest of them because she's a jerk, and I put her on the bottom because uh, I don't like her. Um, but these are all the characters, and I was I was going through style stuff, and I was trying to practice style too, as well as just coloring, because I was I wasn't really that great at coloring at the time. So I did this, and I really like how her hair turned out. I was not I'm pretty bad at doing ponytails, so that was actually a good attempt. Um, but yeah, you'll notice a lot that I like doing a <laughs> quarter view as well as um, headshots. So, you can't, you probably can't really read this very well, but it says, the moment your friend slowly starts getting into a fandom that you're already in, and I just put, hey, welcome to cancer. Um, just because, uh, my friend at the time, uh, was getting into Rick and Morty, which I had already been in the Rick and Morty fandom for a little bit, and I'm not in it anymore, because it's just gotten bad. But at the time... I was really into it, so I thought, you know, it was, it was a pretty cancerous, cancerous fandom and already. I just thought it was funny. And then I was trying to do curly hair, because I'm bad at it. Um, these are just doodles, really. I didn't really know. This is, like, my friend Noah, or not my friend, but my, some, a band member, uh, because I, I'm in band. He, uh, he has a man bun, I always thought it was hilarious. I was angry that day, so I censored it for some reason. It's my sketchbook. Um, trying to make characters, I thought I came up with an idea, never finished it. My ex, just gonna cover that name, you probably saw it, but whatever. Wow, I did not really do that much till later on. I think I have, I know I have some good stuff in here. Um, I was really, also really angry today, that day too. Um, I'm surrounded by morons. It's dumbing down my intelligence. God save me. And my friend wrote the names on it, I had to scribble it out because she wrote it in pen. I was so annoyed. And then this is, uh, the girl Kate from, uh, Life is Strange. I just thought it would be real cute to draw her. Uh, I was into a lot of emo stuff. This was based off of, uh, 
what, what do you call it? Um, Panic at Disco song. Um, I never colored it. I wanted to color it for a long time. I just never did. Um, even with like an, one of my newer sketchbooks, I I still I still have like drowning imagery. I don't know why, but I just think that explains my depression very well. Is like drowning. But yeah, if you love me, let me go. And then failed attempt at coloring. <laughs> Um, God, I'm, I have so many freaking people's names in here. Okay, I'm just gonna cover that while I do this. So this is my two, my friend's alter slash characters. He, he has multi-personality disorder, so when he described, he draws his uh, alters a lot, so he, I redrew his alter. Is that, I think that's Cameron, I think that's Zot, Zotto? I'm not sure. I think that's the good one, the responsible one. Um, but yeah, that's another X. <laughs> that's why I didn't want to show the name. Um, or at the time it was an X, but, you know, this is me trying to do, a an, uh, Lavender Town, because I had an angel character, and I thought it'd be really cute to draw her in it, and then my character Twitch, that I don't draw very often, but it's real cute. Concepts, more concepts, and me trying to draw my friend's style. I didn't, <laughs> like, I, he had a really weird style, and he drew boobs real weird, so I wanted to show him why it was weird, and how awkward it was. Um, and it says Zach Style right there. His name's Zach, I'm fine with sharing his name. Um, and then, you know, just, I, ha I actually redid this character, uh, a few days ago. His name's Kane. Uh, it was supposed to be, like, he switched into, like, this murderous being, but it was supposed to be, like, he got cursed, or he's part of, like, the Kane and Abel. It was really stupid, but I still like the idea of it. Oh, yeah, lingerie. That's, I was practicing lingerie, and stuff. My character Valentius, who I also don't draw very often, but he's my favorite black character out of all my black characters. I'm not just excluding him because he's black, I'm just saying, like, he's not my favorite character, but out of my multi-skinned, like, color- uh, there's no way to make this sound not racist. <laughs> he, to me, is the most interesting as well as I like drawing his skin tone, um, because digitally he has, like, a more dark- darker skin tone. The values aren't really that great on here, but, you know. Um, this is from, oh, this is from my, this is from the webcomic. It's the same, it's, I think, I think his name's Owl Turd or something like that, but he's the same guy that makes those, like, depression, depressing comics. But there's, he has, oops, I dropped something, but there's something he does called, uh, Living With Me, I think. I think that's what it's called. But it's basically, like, that's tomorrow, that's present, that's past, that's future far future, that's like a day in the future, but yeah, it's just, it's a really good comic, read it, I don't need to explain it to you, trying to draw Minnie Mouse for a commission, did not end up very well, um, I was gonna actually do left and right, or right and left, I don't know, basically I had these characters, because how, how I think is like my left and right brain a lot, I would think really weird, so, boobs, you just saw boobs, so, yeah, there's gonna be nudity in this also. Like, who cares? It's just boobs. This is from a Joji song. Um, take me back to the shed and shoot me in the back of the head. I just, I thought it'd be interesting. And I, I just, I wanted to practice side views, and I'm actually proud of that. It's been a while since I have looked at the sketchbook, actually. Um, really, I'm finished drawing. Um, this is more character designs. I didn't, I never finished this. He was gonna be colored. I just never finished it. And I was trying to figure out his body type, because I don't know if he should be chubby or lean. That's an old story idea. It's called Rise of the Rebellion. That's what I called it at the time. But yeah, and boobs and just practicing. Oh yeah, so basically I tried to use a, instead of using like a white gel pen, I used a white sharpie and it bled and it's gross, but I actually do really like this self-portrait again. I like drawing self-portraits. I like drawing myself. I'm selfish. My eyes bled through right here. But uh, it's just like a depressing, drowning thing. So that's what I do. Because um, of blood on these sides, I just didn't really draw on these pages. So I just drew like little dots and I thought it'd be cute. Uh, and then I drew a little Nico edgy thing. Because, you yeah, know, that's what it was. And then I drew a friend of mine's character. Um, it was like clockwork or whatever. I don't, that wasn't her name, but I just associated her with clocks. Because that was, she's a clockmaker. I just don't remember her name. And then just doodles with me and my friends. Um, I was, I got really offended that day. So I was like, ah, yes, I'm a girl. Does that offend you? And I just wanted to draw like a really curvy lady. 
Um, and then more depressing, can I die? I was very sad. I was, I'm still sad, but this was pretty, oh, I was really sad. Uh, two guys that were super gay that aren't, say they're not gay in my school. I'm not gonna say their names, but they're, they're gay for each other. No one can tell me otherwise. They're gay. Carmen, uh, from South Park. I've been trying to draw South Park for a while. I'm just not good at it. Goro, Goro. Goro, Goro? I don't know how you say it, but yeah. Just, um, gore stuff I thought it would be fun to do. And then, uh, try and draw tape face. I actually was trying to make, like, an actual full piece of forum. Because I really like his, uh, I'm not sure if you call it stand-up or you call it, like, his act. Also, you can see the shadow of my hand, so I don't have to put my hand under. But, yeah. And then style practice. Just trying to see if, like, because everyone does, like, really circular, circular. Um, styles, and that's also how mine is, so that'd be interesting. This one, I'm just not going to show this because it's bad, but try to practice Junk Rat, because I really love Junk Rat, but I still do. I have another picture of him in my sketchbook, my newer one. But, yeah, I wanted to do that. And then, try and do, like, human, uh, versions, and then I just drew the rest of the game. That was supposed to be Human Yoshi right there, but I never finished it. But yeah, I wanted to make him look like a just a jerk, because he is, and then Luigi being my bab. And then Peach and Daisy. Peach was also supposed to look like a bitch, but eh, it didn't really end up the way I wanted it. And then other, on the side, it's just like bad pictures of a uh, junk rat, because I was really obsessed with junk rat at the time. Another self-portrait. Look at that. Look at me. Look at that nose. That's bad. Uh, this is also the time where I was trying to actually use references. I know. References. References are important, people. Use references. Oh my golly. Use references. And I was trying to practice someone else's style because I really liked it. I think... Zor Zoria? Z Z K Kenoria. I think that's how you say it. It's right there. If you can read my handwriting. Um, just search her. She's... Or him. I don't know. I don't know his, their pronouns. But sorry to offend them. But yeah. Um, they're really good artists. They do. They did a lot of supernatural stuff at, the t at one point. But now they do more of their own stuff, which is fine. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard something. Um, and I was really proud of this. Still am a little bit. I just liked how it looked. And just, I was trying to do, like, weird poses and stuff. And then fail of self-portrait. Trying to draw Supernatural characters. Because this is the time where I started Supernatural. This summer was actually when I finished Supernatural. Um, I got really into it. Um, I was upset that Charlie died. Just spoilers, sorry. Um, and Sammy and Crowley and my, my gang, my boys. That was supposed to be Bobby, if I remember correctly. Um, you're trying to do another, like, pose thing that looks real weird, but, um, me practicing my name. In cursive. Oh, blank page. Oh, no. Another self-portrait. I think I was supposed to, I was trying to draw my, me and my girlfriend, but never finished it. <laughs> This is, um, human, or not human, but normal Joker concepts, because I also got really into Batman the Joker at the time. So yeah, I was practicing him, and then I drew him as a little human, a normal dude, and then I drew him evil in my version. I still draw him like that every now and then. I like drawing the Joker. It's very fun. Um, and I just thought him falling would be interesting and be like, good punchline, Batsy. Like, if Batman punched him into a vat of acid. Again, uh, and then like I was practicing like bow ties and like how you do that to a bow tie, and I thought that was really cool. And I tried to pin it and or ink it. It was real bad. I was doing it with this, and I was like, "Oh, it's so, so good." But regular Bruce Wayne, just when I see, and I, I was also into Gotham, so I was trying to go kid Bruce. But I yeah, and I tried to do regular Batman, failed because I can't draw muscles. A redesign of a character, because for some reason, she's a mechanic, right? And then I gave her a fucking sweater. And I still, like, she's supposed to have, like, mechanical arms, because it's futuristic. It's, like, post-apocalyptic, futuristic kind of stuff. I was gonna literally <laughs> give her, like, she had, like, a bionic arm? Or, or bionic leg, I can't remember, or both, maybe. But I gave her a sweater, which made no sense that she's gonna be a mechanic and doing a bunch of stuff. That's gonna rip and tear, so I gave her actually, like, um, um, a cute, uh, tank top that was still, like, ratty and stuff, because she's a mechanic. Of course she's gonna not have, like, a perfect shirt. And originally I had her in, like, a cute cat pun shirt, 
So I thought it'd be cute to still um, give that cat likeness, but not, you know, entirely. So, but I'm a cat lady, because it's true. And then she had, how the story goes, basically they have imaginary friends and imaginary quote quotes, air quotes, uh, is actually more of a chip inside their head, and that's what helps them fight. And they can, their their minds are powerful enough to actually make those people, their imaginary friends, real. I called them, I forgot what they're called. I think, I, I had a really good name for them, and I can't remember now. I think they're like imaginings or some, something weird I couldn't, I can't say anymore. But yeah, um, that's what, uh... That's what he was. He was a Wolverine-based kind of guy. Because I, I, I just thought it was... He was very aggressive, and I wanted him... First, he was, like, this tiny little human, and like, on a person's shoulder. And then he turned into a bee, and then he turned into a, a Wolverine. And there's no... Really, he was pretty much just looked like a Wolverine, but could talk. And had an alcoholic problem, so... But yeah, I drew him as a human, because I was like, oh, whatever. And I tried to draw a cat, because I'm bad at cats. Oh, I was very upset this day. Very. Uh, let's let's read some edgy uh events. Anna, you're a high schooler. Get your shit together. I wasn't a high schooler at the time, though. I was in middle school. What's wrong with me? Just shut the fuck up. Should I shoot myself? Do it kill me? I don't want to die, I want to die, you know, to make up your mind, Anna, Jesus fucking Christ, want to die or you don't want to die, um, and then, you know, the stuff you have in the back of your sketchbook that you don't show to anybody, and do I have anything in there, nope, I do not, well, that's my sketchbook, um, did I have put the date, I was telling you to put, put the date somewhere, I probably didn't, I know, I know the first page has the date, so this is 2006, let's see, I didn't get, yeah, I didn't get a sketchbook again until March 17, 2018, so that was like two years where I didn't have the sketchbook, or more, probably more like a year, but yeah, so I feel like that, you know, I'm trying to do more traditional stuff anyway, so I'm trying to see if drawing some more traditional stuff, like, if you guys like this setup and me talking, I just don't know how I'm gonna do lighting, because I don't have good lighting in my room. I'm talking to someone who literally has awful lighting. Um, you can tell. Uh, literally, like, you can see my shadow and everything. But, if you like this, tell me. Because I'm trying, I want to make more content. I just haven't been able to make more content. Because being in high school sucks. I just started, a. Uh, or not just started. I, I'm almost finishing the ninth grade. So also look at my chubby hands, chubby hands. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Have a good day, and I hope you like this uh um sketchbook tour.